is part two for fire sign lady. All right, let's get a potential outcome here. Can I just get a potential outcome, please, for my fire signs ladies? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please. Fire sign ladies, thank you. Okay, here's one. So four of wands, so stability for yourself. It says, and it's the key. So it says the key nearby is a certain augury of success. But if surrounded by unlucky cards, the pro, the pro, the pronunciation is illness. So let's see. Tell me more about the key, please. Thank you. So you got the three of wands. So it says the tree is good health near. Flowers, fulfillment of highest hopes. Okay. So more fire energy. So, and that's. Four plus three is seven, so that's offensiveness. So be mindful of defensiveness, though, right now. Anything else about a potential outcome, please? Tell me Tell me more about the key. We'll put it over here. Tell me more about the key, please. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, you got the Eight of Swords in the upright. It says, the mountains nearby indicate the presence of a mighty enemy. Hmm. And the next one is, Page of Swords says the shepherd indicates <clears throat> an intense love of life and strong, f strong fellow feeling. Okay, anything else about this? So be, <clears throat> excuse me, be mindful of someone trying to keep you trapped in your head. Disinformation, spying and stalking. Okay, anything else? They could also not be not telling the truth about their health. Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. Then you got the Eight of Pentacles. It says, it's a number nine card. It says, the birds singing dire misfortune and fierce enemies when near. If, if far away from the person with 7, 16, 12, or 22 between, a chance to avert the evil spell. So, we don't have those. Anything else? Anything else about this? And actually, this came like this it has to go in order so let's see anything else about this please anything else about this for outcome please so beware of someone giving you misinformation spying and stalking also miss uh, some type of communication to be careful of people what people say to you or what you say to others oh okay you have number 13 the eight of wands that means fast fast movement it says the snake indicates um Anemone and calamities, the degree of which is governed by the distance of the card from the person. So, okay. So, yeah, another snake. So, that also can talk about other woman. Anything else? Okay. It says, Ten of Swords. Betrayal. The rod near predicts family quarrels at distance. Precautionary losses. Okay. So something you're gonna something's gonna be revealed via spying and stalking about there being some level of betrayal. Okay. And then you have the page of wands, more communication. It says the order denotes honor and recognition of labor near forty eight. We have no forty eights here. A sure sign of business success. Okay. So you're going to be getting some type of news, but either from an air sign or another fire sign, or you're going to be delivering this information to either an air sign or another fire sign, or you're going to be delivering the information to another fire sign through spying and stalking, through communication. But is it truthful communication? Or when you receive it, is it truthful communication? I feel like someone is definitely keeping secrets, some type of secret communication with another woman or another man. Anything else about this, please? Thank you. Okay. Then you have the mouse. So you have the Six of Swords, so nearly escaping, trying to move on to calmer waters. It says, the mouse denotes loss by theft. Nearby, it denotes recovery after great difficulty. But distant, the loss will be ir um, irretrievable. Okay. Anything else about this, please? So be cautious. Maybe just kind of go in hermit mode for a little bit to kind of protect your own energy for a little bit. That might be wise. Ooh, that flew. Way over there. So hold on. Give me a second. Let me grab this. I got it. Okay. So this was actually the first card that came out, and it's the fish. 
So four of hearts, so four of cups. So someone's trying to be stubborn or not really wanting to take things. Also be worried, concerned about money. It says the fish is the emblem of riches through stocks. But if distant, it foretells a failure and disaster. So be mindful of that. You might be getting some type of communication with the king of pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. The letter is a sign of good tidings when near. And when touching, indicates unexpected good fortune. So someone could be trying to steal some type of fortune or winnings or money. So be mindful of that. All right, let's get some oracle cards and actually wrap it up. We're going to get some karma cards and then we'll get one of healing. Okay? Real quick. Okay. What messages do you have for my fire sign ladies? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please spirit. What messages do you have for my fire sign ladies, please? Concerning the situation. Now, remember, this and all could be vice versa. You could be doing this to somebody else. Or they could be doing this to you. And also, I am kind of get a feeling here that maybe it could be two people against another one single person. So, be mindful of that. Okay. So, two against one. Alright, let me see. Anything else you want to share, please, Spirit? Okay. So, planets. Signs. Houses. Okay. So, that's how these cards work. Is you read the top, you read all the blue, and then you read all the red. So, it says, you have, planet is Neptune, in the sign of Sagittarius, in the seventh house. So, says the idealization of insights to understand balance, confusion regarding the wisdom of cooperation. So be mindful who you cooperate with, okay? Sacrifice resulting from the understanding of your partner or partners, okay? Now, that's the message. Now, here's the action that they are advising, spirits advising. Now, take what resonates, leave the rest. Always use your own discernment, okay? It says inspire others with your highest ideals diplomatically, be prepared to sacrifice for the rules of relationships. So this could be you or somebody else, okay? Yielding is the only way to get it out to the world and get a fair deal. So try to keep things in balance. Be fair. You don't want to accumulate karma. or the, Now, you can't control what anyone else does, obviously, okay? So just be mindful of that. Let's see when is this going to happen or when are you going to find out this information or deliver this information. Spirit, can you please tell me when? Can you give me a time frame? Can you give me a time frame, please, Spirit, about when? They're saying May. Now, this could be May of last year that this has already happened, and maybe you don't know about it yet. Okay, or this could be May 2021. Okay, anything else about this? Anything else about time frame? Let's see. Um, I need a number card. Mm. I need a number card. Okay, can you please tell me, is this May, um, are they going to find out about something that happened in May, please, Spirit? And when? How long? Tell me. All right, thank you, please, Spirit. Thank you. So, again, five. May's the fifth month. So this could have already have happened, okay? You could be finding out about this or delivering this message in five days, five months, or five weeks. Or this could have been what's already happened in May, and you're just now finding out about it, Okay. Or this could be the fifth month. Again, it's May of 2021. Anything else about timing? Let's see. Is this this year? Hold on one second. Let's see. I want to find out about timing. And then we'll pull one last Oracle card. All right. Is this Has this already happened? Is this May from last year, of this year, 2020? Is this May of this past May? Let's see. Test too many cards, please, Spirit. Just one car. Less cards, please. Is this May of 2020? You might have found something out also on the 5th of May of this past year. All right. Let's see. Is this May of 2020, please, Spirit? I'll take the first one. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm assuming that is a yes. And then, then it says use your intuition. And the bottom of the deck, it says yes. So this something happened May 5th of this past, this past May of 2020. So I feel like you're going to be finding out about this. So let's see. When are they going to find out about this? Can I have a time frame? Now, 
they're telling me that that it was May 5th when this thing or this event occurred. The situation occurred. Okay. Of 2020. Let's see. When are you, when are they going to find, when are my fire sign ladies going to find out about this event that happened on May 5th, 2020? Well, you got the Knight of Cups here, sideways. So you may not find out about it for a while. Let's see, anything else about this? Tell me, give me a time frame, please. Time frame. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Okay, you have the four. So you could be finding out about it in four days. You could be finding out a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be telling you this either in four days, four months, four weeks or four months, okay? They may be coming to you to tell you about this, about what happened May 5th. Also, it could also be nine days, nine weeks, or nine months when you find this out. Okay? Let's get some Oracle cards real quick to help you, and then we will close it up. Let's see. Let's get some angel cards for you real quick. Okay. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, what messages do you have for my fire sign ladies, please? Concerning this issue, what guidance do you have? Do you have for my fire sign ladies, please? What guidance do you have for my fire sign ladies, please? Okay. Also, they're saying that you know what happened. You had a feeling May 5th. May 5th, you knew. It says use your intuition. You knew. You knew something happened. You were right. They're telling me you were right. May 5th might be very significant. You you were right about something. You or the other person was. Okay, anything else? Um, any guidance, please, for my fire sign ladies concerning the situation? I thank you, Spirit. It says commitment. Angel wisdom reminds you that when you aim for a vision without doubt or deviation, it must succeed. Your guidance is to persevere towards your vision. Let every thought, word, and action be directed towards your desired outcome. Nothing is more powerful than focused energy, and the angels will see the pure light of your commitment, whether it is in a relationship, a piece of work, a journey, or anything else in your life. Remember to ask them for help and know when you dedicate your intention to the highest good, they will support you. An affirmation that you can say if you choose, I am committed to my vision. So this could be for you or the other person or both. Stay committed to um, the vision that you have for your life. You can't control what other people do or don't do. Okay. Anything else? One last car, please, spirit. One last car, please, spirit. Okay. Thank you, spirit. It says synchronicities. What I tell you. Mm-hmm. says, use your intuition. You know. You knew you were right. You knew that you were right on May 5th. You knew that you fit, You found something out. You knew it. You knew it. Okay? You are the other person. It says, synchronicity. There is no such thing as chance in our incredible universe. The coincidences and synchronicities are carefully orchestrated by your guides and angels to recognize them as the hand of spirit. Rejoice when you notice them for for they are the angel's message to you that you are on the right path. Start to expect them and look for them. Be aware that there is a divine reason behind them and consider what the message or lesson is. Synchronicity is also a reminder to you that all things happen in divine timing. And then the affirmation is all things happen in perfect timing. So you you knew, you knew, use your intuition with mm-hmm and use your intuition that May 5th, you were right about this whole situation. You were right. You were you were right. All right. Well, fire sign ladies, this is what I are in cross rosters. This is what I got for you. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all that information will be in the description box below. All right. Take care.